What's up guys, welcome back to Mr. Tech Boss. As you can see, I'm running um, yet another AOSP project and that's the name of the ROM. Uh, in short, YAP. I don't know if you call it that, but um, that is it. Um, yeah, here, as you can see, YAP Raphael. Uh, that stands for yet another AOSP project. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a review of this ROM because I've been using it for a couple of days now and I do have some thoughts. So without any further ado, let's get right in. Okay, so as you can see, if we go into about phone and then and, um, and then Android version, it is Android 11 and it's not running the security patch, the latest security patch. So, and um, that doesn't really matter, but it's running Yap kernel. So yeah, that's pretty much it about the basics. And now let's move on to customizations and if there are some bugs, which there are a few, but yeah. So anyway, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure to do so right now. And yeah, if you did it, thanks. So anyway, um, as you can see, my ROM looks something like this, but don't expect it to look like this um, right up from the boot. And even after these customizations, you're not going to be able to customize it to look something like this. So what I'm using is Substratum. And so it is LiveDark and Arcturus. And so those are the two addresses for these icons if you're wondering but otherwise you won't be able to customize much in terms of like uh, the background color it's black I mean it's not black it's dark blue and you won't be able to change a lot of stuff so if you do want a tutorial on that let me know I might do it someday so yeah and as you can see it's called what well, yet another static space so that's a cool little Easter egg I guess I don't know whatever so and then these are the customizations in status bar and in quick settings you can pause the video so you do have a bunch of settings for especially for android 11 roms because they are pretty new i guess you can call them but at this point um and you do have double tap to sleep and also you do have double tap to on the home screen to um to unlock to turn off the screen and as you can see the double tap to unlock is quite unresponsive for me i don't know why um it's i don't know i guess it's some user error but it's just for me so yeah and then if you go into gestures you do have a bunch more gestures i oh wait i already showed this so now let's go into security um and lock screen you do have a few you don't have screen off fod yet fingerprint on display screen off and you don't have that so yeah and yeah these are the options if you do want to pause the video as i said earlier and so if we go to the about section as you can see uh, it has all the details about who made the rom so this specific build for this device rafael or rmk20 pro or me 90 pro what do you want to call it was built by uh, aditya mohan so yeah he's a really cool guy anyway you can check out uh, him on telegram just install the rom press the telegram group if you want the link i'll uh, just ask me in the comments and i will give you guys it down below and so other than that the main thing is how was my experience using the strong so um i've been using it as i said earlier for five days or four days kind of i guess so yeah battery life uh, let me talk about this uh, the main issue i had with this rom was just uh like for me specifically was like meh, it wasn't too great it was like probably around eight hours of screen on time with like normal usage like uh, not any gaming obviously all my screens screen on times are no gaming a bit of camera usage mostly the brightness is about around about here sometimes when i go out it is but it is maxed out but yeah also one more thing i need to tell you guys is if you went to display and uh, if you just max out the brightness here you may think that uh, you may notice that it's not the actual maximum brightness that the panel is capable of especially if you're coming from ui you'll probably notice it so if you enable the side brightness mode it does increase it a little more so yeah if you are having some trouble seeing the display uh, which I guess you probably won't, but if you are, you can toggle this on. Also, you do have DC dimming, so yeah, that's not a big deal. So yeah, the, that was the only concern. Uh, other than that, everything I really liked about this ROM, the smoothness was just top notch. So if I go into a lot of apps, as you can see, it is pretty much like 90% of the time it is 60 FPS. Um, as you can see, you won't really have any problems in terms of performance because this is an OSS based ROM. So you won't have any issues about um, performance or anything like that. And you do if you want to do install, if you do want to install custom kernel, which I don't think you need to. But if you do want to, you can do that as well, which I really don't recommend, though. And if you go into Magisk here and I'm running the latest version. So if you want to flash Magisk, many people are having issues on Android 11. So you need to do is go into the description 
and download the magisk debug file i'm sorry because this is wiggling i need to get a better stand for my phone and so what you need to flash is uh some magisk de debug zip so let me see if i have it if i don't have it which it looks like so yeah i'll just leave it linked down in the description you can download it and then flash that once that's done um after the rom obviously then you need to go into settings update make sure this is on beta and then go back click on uninstall and then it's just going to update from there just make sure when you click on install do not tick this uh, i don't recommend that and go just next and this just like direct install and then let it do its thing and then you should have a working phone with the latest magisk installed so as i already mentioned the only concern i had was battery life other than that everything was pretty much on par with everything else so yeah it's a bit hard to do it in portrait mode so yeah i mean that is the only thing i mean if you do have any more questions leave them down in the description and to flash it just flash the rom you do not need to flash any vendor or any crap like that and then flash dfe which i really recommend because uh encryption is kind of broken on under 11 but so i do recommend uh, staying decrypted and if you do have any questions do leave them down in the description and i think i pretty much covered everything else about this rom oh yeah there are two more things that i almost forgot about one is if you use whatsapp which i assume most of you guys do so if you use whatsapp and you send a voice message you may notice that it's quite low in volume so all you got to do is uh disable okay google because so yeah that is one bug i think it's google you're supposed to blame i'm not sure but if you uh, are if you do use voice messages a lot and even if you just use it and you're having some trouble just disable ok google and then you'll have a, like a like the volume will be proper of all your recordings so you won't have the problem if you do disable this and other than that there is also magisk uh, hide for many users who want to use banking apps so as you can see safety net checks perfectly and then if you go into and if you do want it to check because normally it won't so you have to do is enable magisk hide and that is pretty much it. And then you can hide Magisk Manager in as well. And um, just do Magisk hide from all the apps that you want to use as like all the banking apps, all the apps that you don't want detecting root on your phone. So yeah, that is pretty much it about this video. If you do have any questions, don't forget to leave them down and make sure to subscribe again. Before I leave, let me clarify two things. Uh, one is that I haven't been uploading a lot of videos and that is because I have a lot of studies at the same time I'm doing A-levels. Uh, if you don't know, just Google A-Levels and you'll find out. So that is grade 12, basically. Other than that, if you're wondering why I'm not recording in 60 FPS, that is because I don't have lighting, enough lighting to compensate for the decreased bright, so the lower exposure that you get when shooting the higher frame rate. So it becomes too dark and then I have to raise the ISO too high and then it just becomes bad, like it's it's too grainy. So yeah, I'm recording at 24 frames per second. Hopefully it's good. Uh, I told you guys the ROM is pretty smooth, so you don't need to worry about smoothness. So yeah, that is pretty much it. And if you're still watching, Thank you. I'll see you guys in the next one.